I'll teach you to fly before you fall away. All right, so we are obviously getting back to Megan. Thank God. And I was cleaning up, um, minding my business, having what me and my friends call like a little um, a little house party. Like since I moved to my house, like play music from the TV and just, you know, have fun dance and stuff hence the ad that's on there i was minding my business and then fly before you fall fell in my spirit very 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 strongly um and so i had to pause that and go play fly before you fall and most of you all know that it's from the beyond the lights um soundtrack album the last few days guy has been reminding me of things that he's already told me like dating back to 2020 one even like with the live how i walked y'all through everything um during that time because i wasn't taking time to like be quiet sit down and like hear from him he kept meeting me where i was at where i was at was um Ket camp kiss deluxe and even it, even with me saying that now like that's even besos like in french so kiss keeps coming up um and so what's on your mind, that song in particular kept coming up the last couple of days. And I was like, what? So um, Pocahontas, I think I've shared this with y'all too. I kept sending the gif, the gif, however you say it, because somebody corrected me the last time, um, of her jumping, right? And not only that, this is in 2021 of her jumping. And that was confirmed. Like, it's time to jump. Okay, cool. Scared and all, I jumped. And truth be told, y'all, I 100% I, I still feel like I'm just falling, okay? Um, something else that I shared that I believe was a vision I had in 2020 was baby carriages falling over. And um, my grandma telling me that that meant success in love. And the verse that God had sent to me was now un or gave me there and then was not unto him who was able to keep you from falling and present you faultless, which I told y'all ever since I read that part of my book last night, because he reminded me of the sevens, I was like really emotional. Like ever since we got the live, I've been very emotional, but I thought I thought I was okay. Like I was in here, you know, mom and business having a good time. My spirit is picking up on a lot, even if I'm trying to distract myself, whatever. And so that verse is in the in that part of the book. And another verse that's in that is that God is faithful to complete whatever he started in you. If you read the post, I'm here to let you guys know it really is time for success in love. You may have felt like you've been falling the last two years. I remember what I was doing in 2021. I, I, can, I remember it like it was yesterday, but it wasn't yesterday. You may feel like you've been falling and that's what makes us scared because it's like, I mean, at some point I got to hit the ground. And yet these last two years, I have not hit the ground yet. And he promised me that he had already showed me that. And, and then today when the song fell in my spirit, he was like, I'm going to teach you how to fly before you just like falling. Right? So I know so many prophetic voices have really been like, um, it's happening now. It's time. And I'm just, I told you, I just be kind of like, well, you know, we finna see. Please grab this and hold on to it because he's been giving us so many words. This ain't that. And us thinking it's too good to be true and just waiting for the other shoe to um, fall or drop or however the saying is going. And God was like, it, was, it, it wasn't it was going to drop. And I'm sitting here like, it's been two years and that has not happened yet. It's me. He told me it was okay to fall in love. He told me, God told me that. He has to continually tell me that like, it's okay for you to love him. Like, but no, it's not, God. Why isn't it? And I'm trying to give him all these reasons, all these religious things. Like, I'm trying to, and he's like, no, sis. Like, I've been told you it was okay to love him. It was okay to fall. And I was going to teach you how to fly. I've been told you it was time to jump, ready or not. And you did it. And, and instead of me just doing what I need to do, like, I'm seeing me, like, really, like, embracing the fall. But like finding what I need within to truly start flying. And, and that's where some of us, a lot of us, if y'all are like me, that's where we are now. This is the kicker. If you didn't run off, if you didn't have like the type of separation that I have had and stuff, the lyrics to this song might not hit you the way that it has really always hit me. But even in that, like 
I y'all, that's why the temptation and stuff like I know what it's like to be away from him. I know what it's like to be with counterfeits. And I really don't want that. Like no matter how much I might think, like, well, I'm gonna go. I I don't want it. I know what it feels like. And I'd rather be alone and at the house by myself. I I, I cannot lie to y'all. Like I can do all this big boy talk. Do y'all know what I did last night? I cried. I thanked God for loving me how he loved me. And he was like, now you understand how you're supposed to love him. Yes. Yes, sir. And I fell asleep watching Princess Diaries. I'm really not out here like living like that no more. It, it, ain't, it ain't nothing for me out there, okay? And I've been seeing these words uh, that's about like the, the husbands. I'm like, nah, that's me. That That's me all day. And I'm the wife, okay? So let's go over these lyrics real quick. But for real, it's time for success and love, y'all. It's time. You got to believe it. I told y'all I could have released the whole word on the whole Kiss um, Kiss 5 Deluxe album by K-Kim because that is where God had met me. That's where he met me because I was running from him. So he met me right there. Okay. So, okay. The song that we're actually doing though is Fly Before You Fall by Cynthia Erivo. And it's on the um, Beyond the Likes soundtrack. Okay. So ugh, I ain't gonna cry because I already cried. I see the way that you look when you hear his name. I see his picture up in your frame and you refuse to admit you still miss him, but it's okay. And for a number of reasons, I know that's where I was at. So when I was reading the lyrics, it was more so like God talking to me. And I know that's where I was at. Even all the, the time, the years I spent away, that's what it was like. I How I felt when I would hear his name or somebody would talk about him like it would be such an, a mixture of feelings see his right. picture up in your frame and i'm seeing it like my heart and you could never change who god puts in that frame in your heart you can't really like i be in here minding my business so from me to y'all it really is okay i don't I really personally don't care what y'all going through. It's okay. If God said that's your spouse, that's your spouse. I see his picture up in your frame. It could be like sitting sitting in the house. You got a frame picture of him. I don't know. But I see his picture up in your frame. And you refuse to admit you still miss him, but it's okay. You're a tower of strength when you're breaking down. But through the wall, I can feel your cry. And I know I had walls up for everybody to even include him. And that was one of the sevens in the book. Like there were walls in my life that had to come down. And the only person that's able to bust through the walls first is God, is the love of Jesus Christ. Your spouse can't come in until he breaks those walls down. But through the wall, I can feel your cry. Y'all, I know what I was out here doing. I was going on trips. In Mexico, foreign places with counterfeits, and you know who you know who who was still in my heart, my spouse, and who I wasn't talking to was trying my best not to think about, right? But through the wall, I can feel your cry. I know my heart was crying out for him, whether I wanted to admit it, acknowledge it or not. That's what was happening. And when it's quiet, you're screaming inside, and I break as I hear you. Loud as a bomb, wanting a shoulder to cry on. I hear you tumbling fast. Here and now, you're afraid. Here and now, you're afraid. Don't you worry. I'll teach you to fly before you fall away. Like, what? I didn't read it. I'm sorry. And that's how it's felt. Y'all don't understand me. Two years. That's how it's felt. Like just falling. F-A-L-L-I-N-G. And having the moments where I know that I, I'm falling. Like the Maya song. And oh my gosh, I'm falling in love. And in those moments, wanting to like stop falling and stop it and come back. But I already jumped. I'm in too deep. And God is like, let me teach you how to fly. Let me teach you how to fly, daughter. I was never going to let you fall. I was never going to let him fall i was never gonna let y'all fall i'm trying to teach y'all how to fly it's in the moments when you're left all on your own and it hits you from out of nowhere you try to hide it sometimes unsuccessfully with the smile that fades quickly i know that was my life i never even wanted to admit like you know, 
Like, I'm great. All right, let's keep going. Your resistance to sadness is futile, like pointless to try to resist that. But you're a fighter, can't stand defeat. So even though it it was heart shattering, even though it broke our hearts, even though it really did hurt, we kept on because that's just how we are. And we tried to pretend like everything was okay. We tried to pretend like we didn't miss them, like we didn't need them. Shoot, half the time I still get on YouTube acting like that. That is not true. That, I know that's not true. Like that's that's me, big boy talk just to come and cry, just like last night. Like I mean, I'm tempted, but I really can't do it. You're a magician at hiding the hurt from you. But I see and I hear you. That's what it felt like. like and, and still feels like that. I remember the other week I was crying. And I was like, I just still don't understand why you would do this for me, God. And he was like, because I love you. And even when I didn't want to admit what I was going through, what I was feeling, how I felt inside, he could still hear me. He could still see me because I'm his. Loud as a bomb, wanting a shoulder to cry on. And that's what he's been. The Holy Spirit has been my best friend. I hear you tumbling fast. Here and now, you're afraid. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I told y'all last night, he was like, you finna have to face some of your fears. Even the um, K-Camp word from the song, um scared to love scared to love I always say it wrong don't be scared because i hear you loud as a bomb wanting a shoulder to cry on i hear you tumbling fast here and now you're afraid don't you worry i'll teach you to fly before you fall y'all may hear as your spouse uh, i it didn't come in like that for me okay it didn't it came in it's the same the same guy who told me to jump two years ago. And I haven't hit the ground. I keep thinking like something bad got to happen. Nothing bad is happening. He just asking the both of us to stop being scared. I know he is. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> but who? And that even goes back to the butterflies and stuff. I sometimes feel like just like this ugly, heavy caterpillar falling. And he like, no, shed that. It's time to shed that, sweetie. It's time to fly. I cannot believe how this just came in like that. And this is one of the ones where it's like, I could sit on it, but y'all wouldn't get it hot from the press. You wouldn't get it hot from the Holy Spirit. So I don't usually say sweetie and sweetheart this much. And it does remind me of um, when Jesus heals Jairus' daughter and he says, Talitha Kumi. And I know that means arise, sweetheart, like get up. So that's what he says to you and your spouse individually. And that's also what he speaks to y'all's marriage. Arise, sweetheart. Get up. Talitha Kumi. Wow. Okay. I know that was a lie, but it's time for success and love. You got to believe it. You got to receive it. And we really just got to run with this. Like, it's time to fly. Either you finna fly or you not finna fly because y'all don't have no option because that's what we fixing to do. Okay? So, breathe it in. Receive it truly and ask God what you need to be doing so that you can have your success in love. Okay. He was not going to let you fall. He was not perfection and completion.